Following the First World War in 1918, war, famine, and anarchy ruled the land in South Russia, the home of many Mennonites, most of whom came from Prussia in the 1800s. Instead of peaceful villages, starvation, murder, rape, and pillage were rampant. Their situation was desperate. In their dire need, they named a study commission in 1919 to go abroad and find both food and a safe haven for them to emigrate. This committee was to be funded for one year, after which time they were to present their report and recommendations. Members of this committee were Dr. Benjamin Onru, noted theologian, Cornelius Warkentin, the owner of a hospital, and Johann Isau, who had been the mayor of Yekaterinoslav in the Ukraine. My father, A. A. Friesen, a college professor, was named chair of the commission. Why was he chosen as chair of the study commission? First, he was a Mennonite, could speak to Mennonites about Mennonite concerns. He was highly regarded by Mennonite leaders as he had their confidence. He was fluent in several languages, was used to travel, had worked with Dr. Unruh, and understood the problems they would face. Dr. James Urey commented that AA was impartial, beholden to no particular group, hence was in the position to evaluate the facts as they were presented without concern for political bias. The carefully collected rubles which were to pay for the commission were suddenly worthless. The first hurdle was to find new funding, which they did. Step one. Since Mennonites were connected historically with both Holland and Germany, the delegation left Russia on January the 1st, 1920, and approached those two countries first. However, the war had rendered them in great need themselves, and they were unable to help the Russian Mennonites in their plight at that time. The Commission then turned to the United States for help. Soon after arriving in New York on June the 13th, both Dr. Unruh and Mr. Izzo returned to Europe. Dr. Unruh continued to work on behalf of the Mennonite people, building a vital conduit from the Ukraine to Germany to the USA and Canada and the reverse. My father, A. A. Friesen, and Mr. Warkington remained in the States where they met with Mennonite, political, and financial leaders in search of finding resources of food for the starving Mennonites. In the Ukraine, individuals were sending aid to family and friends in Russia, but they lacked accurate information about who needed what and how to get assistance to the right people. In June 1920, just when my father was searching for help, Mennonite leaders from the four main Mennonite denominations in the States were meeting in Hillsborough, Kansas, in an effort to coordinate their various relief efforts. They invited my father to meet with them and provide the specific information they needed. On the basis of that information, the Mennonite Central Committee, MCC, was organized in July 1920 to give immediate aid to the starving Mennonites in Russia. MCC continues to be one of the major organizers in the world which gets the right aid to the right people in the most effective way. My own grandmother survived the famine thanks to MCC's soup kitchen. My father and Cornelius Warkington then undertook the study commission's second mandate, find a new home for the Mennonites. They concluded that the United States was the best option for several reasons. Firstly, Mennonites had been living there since the late 1700s. Secondly, both the climate and the culture there were similar to those of the Ukraine. And thirdly, America was a nation at peace, thus promising to provide the ideal homeland. Unfortunately, the U.S. policies at that time excluded immigration from Slavic countries. The doors to Canada were closed also at that time. The two men then investigated Mexico. Their conclusion, 
The government was unstable and the culture and climate were very different, posing great difficulties for immigration. However, the country was accessible. South America was open to immigration, but again, unstable governments, a very different climate and culture made a move there very difficult. They also considered and rejected both New Zealand and South Africa, feeling they had insufficient information to make an informed decision. In my father's final report to the Mennonites in the Ukraine, he concluded that efforts be pursued to gain permission to emigrate to Canada. Even though the population was smaller and opportunities for non-farmers were fewer than in the U.S., language, customs and climate in Canada were similar to that with which the Mennonites in the Ukraine were familiar. They would be able to retain their faith but should no longer expect to live in isolated communities. Thus the Commission completed its mandate. Documents of the Study Commission are contained in the archives at Bethel College in Newton, Kansas. I am Helen Wheeler, member of First Mennonite Church in Kelowna.